I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Hansel and Gretel. I'm going to start over here, put two fingers and put a dot, and from that dot I'm going to draw a circle. I put a straight line on the left, straight line on the right, slightly curved line, connect. Come on the left hand side and draw a curved line down off the page, right hand side, curve line down off the page. I come up on the left and draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect, jump over, right hand side, curve line out, curve line in, connect. Starting right here on the right, I draw a big curve line over, up, down, connect. I come right about here and I just add a wavy line on the left, wavy line on the right, wavy line on the left, wavy line on the right. Come inside and put one dot, two dots, in the center, curve line, big curve line. Come over to the left hand side and we're just going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, put a little curve line, on the uh, upper part. Now draw a straight line, circle, put a dot in the middle, and let's draw a spiral inside. Now come over here on the right, put a dot, draw a pretty good sized circle, little straight line on the left, little straight line on the right, curve line, connect. Curve line down on the left, curve line down on the right. Come up on the left, let's put a curve line out and connect on the left, curve line out and connect on the right. Right at the dot, we're just going to draw a curve line to the left, come back to the dot, curve line to the right. Over here on the left, we draw a wavy, wavy line out wavy wavy line up connect straight line straight line straight line connect on the top straight line straight line straight line connect on the bottom now over on the right we're just going to draw a straight line up straight line up and leave them floating because right here we're going to put a dot and from that dot we're just going to draw a curve line in straight line out curve line, straight line down, curve line, straight line up, straight line down, leave it floating. Because now we're going to come in and just go one, two, three curve lines, bring it up and connect. Now we can add these curve line down, curve line up, connect. You can add this little straight diagonal up, straight diagonal up. And let's put one, two little dots and a little curve line, one, two, three little dots going down. Now come back over here on the right and draw a wavy line, jump over, wavy line out, up, up, connect. If you have room, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect on top, straight line, straight line, connect on the bottom. Come inside, put one dot, two dots, little curve line, big curve line, and that's that. Now I'm going to come back here, right above, put a dot, and I'm going to draw straight diagonal out, but I'm going to curve the bottom. We're going to have some floating lines and uh, overlaps on this, so just leave things floating, it's okay. And another straight diagonal curve line down and connect. Jump over and now continue this line. Okay. 
Come inside and draw me a wavy line, wavy line, wavy line up, connect. And inside, some curved lines. Curve line, connect. Curve line, connect. Everybody's going to have a different amount. Curve line, connect. Come right below that dot and put another dot. And we're going to draw a wavy line down, over, connect. Come back to the dot. Wavy line down, over, and connect. If you have room, baby circle spiral, baby circle spiral, jump over, baby circle spiral on the inside. Come over to the left and draw a wavy line down off the page. Come on the right, wavy line down off the page. If if you have room. Right here you can put a straight line, straight line connect, wavy line on top, wavy line on bottom. Jump over, if you have room, straight line, straight line, straight line, jump over, connect, put your wavy line around the edge. Okay, now Let's do a wavy line off the page on the right, wavy line off the page on the left. Come all the way up and we're just going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line down, connect. Wavy line one, wavy line two, wavy line three, if you have room. Come all the way up to the top, put a dot, draw a circle. Come up, draw a curve line out, in, connect. Draw a curve line down on the left, curve line down on the right. Straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, connect. One, two, three curved lines on the right. Straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, connect. One, two, three curved lines. Come up to the left, straight line out, zigzag, straight line out, zigzag on the right, one, two, curve line, one more dot. Okay, now this is the foreground, the candy house or the gingerbread house is the middle ground. Now we're going to do curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. This is an overlap. Curve line, curve line. See it crashes in. Keep going. Now we're just going to draw a straight line, straight line down. Straight line, straight line down. Jump over. Let's do a curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Straight line down. Straight line down. Bam. It crashes into that one. It's okay. Let's add another curve line. Bam, it crashes there. Jump over. These are overlaps. One little straight line down. Okay. I think that's all. I'll know better when we start coloring this in. I might add one more line here. Maybe one more line here. Okay. Straight line. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, what's fun about this one is that you can pretty much color it any which way you want. But I'm going to start and make my forest. These are trees. I'm just going to make these green. And I'm doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. Give it a little bit of texture. Jump over. Do these green. Because remember, Hansel and Gretel were in a forest. So the more green you add, the better it is. If you can add more trees, go for it. This is how many I could add. Then, I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to color in all of my tree trunks. And these lines, I'm going to color in brown also to give the illusion of there being more trees than there are than what we drew. Okay? Now, since I have my brown out, I'm going to color the inside part of my gingerbread house. I'm going to color this part brown. 
jump over this is brown this is brown you kind of have to look for the parts this should be brown I think so I'm trying to color in my big parts so I can see what I'm doing and you'll do a better job than me then I'm gonna color in Hansel and Gretel so I'm gonna do apricot you can do pink just to kind of make this not so white Here's their hand, his hand, color that in. Here's her hand, color in their faces. If you got facial color, if you don't, it's okay. This is apricot, okay? Then, using my yellow, I'm gonna do their hair. And again, this is up to you. You can do whatever colors you want. This is just what I'm doing. This is all yellow. And I gave um, blue-green for Hansel shirt. This is blue-green. And Gretel, I did red. And then since I have my red out, I'll let me do his hat. This is his hat. And then, this is the gingerbread man that she's eating. So I'm doing this brown. And this is his lollipop he's eating, so I'm doing this orange. Okay? I'm going to come back in with my red and I'm going to do these little candies here and I'm going to add some color here on the jelly beans. Then if you have room to do the windows, I'm going to outline them with a green. This is all green, but I'm going to leave the big part of the gingerbread house. This is, I'm going to leave this white because that's frosting but I'm going to come in and do this section green okay and as always I've already forgotten part of his hair down here this is yellow and I'm going to do her little bows blue and as I do these colors I'm going to add some more colors up here on my jelly bean window and I did the inside pink of the windows, pink. And now I do my witch. So I'm giving her green hands and a green face. And I forgot my chimney. I'm going to do this green. ABAB pattern. Come in with some brown. Because it's gingerbread also. And I'm going to do my witch. I'm going to give her some orange hair. And instead of making her black, I'm going to give her purple. A purple hat. And her dress is purple. Okay. The last thing I'm doing is some background like I do straight lines fill this in straight lines now remember like I said you can color this all in any colors you want the only thing I would keep the same is my gingerbread house okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here is Hansel and Gretel with the witch and the gingerbread house all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.